We are back, everybody, from an exhausting opening weekend. But an awesome opening weekend. March Madness is officially upon us. And we are officially into the sweet 16. It's awesome. It is fantastic. We had two games on the weekend slate, starting with Radford on Thursday. Let's get to the videotape. Highlights, not much of a contest. Nope, it's nice to win one and not to worry about it. Before we get to the LSU Tigers, we got something special to talk about from the Radford game. We do. A very important record yes. was broken. Yes. Congratulations to the three himself, Tyler Hansbrough, <laughs> breaking the ACC scoring record. Taking and, it away from a dookie. And Tyler, since the three has been such a big part of your game and a big part of the show, there's going to be some opportunities coming your way. A way to get the three in the limelight. And we've been taking some calls where there are people pitching us to try and pitch you. We're talking endorsement dollars, Tyler, and we've got a few ideas for you. Yes. First of all, we want to go with the Tyler Hansbro three meat, sausage Canadian style bacon and pepperoni pizza. Three! And yep. Looks delicious. It says here it's a smart option. Can't go wrong with that, so something to consider. Mm -hmm. So when you have something a little zesty and salty, you're going to need to follow that up with something sweet. Hmm. How about a candy bar? Hmm. The Three Musketeers. Whipped up fluffy chocolate on the... <laughs> After a big game. Oh! Last, <laughs> but certainly not least, we have bottled awesomeness. Yes. For that special night with that special lady, Armani's latest Aqua de Trio. By Hansbro. <laughs> the ladies do enjoy. Spritz yourself with this. Be like a winner. Mm -hmm. Saturday, LSU. SEC Conference Champions. And the big question everyone wanted answered, with Ty Lawson play? And he did. There's a lean on your dreams that keeps you going under and a hole in the floor. Drops us all together. You can fight all you like. There's no way to hide all the lines on your face. two wins in Greensboro. And that means two Woody Award winners. That's right. An opportunity for two young men to have their names slated in history. Big performances in both games, every aspect of the game. First Woody Award winner, Wayne Ellington. Talk about a guy who's elevating his game in the right time of the year. Keep it up. Also co-headlining this Woody mm -hmm. for his fantastic performance against LSU. The toe himself. Mr. Ty Lawson. Ty, love the fact that you gutted out a second half that was much needed. No matter what happened, I felt like you were not 
going to let us lose that ball game. A lot of heart. Mm -hmm. If you've been following the show, every Woody Award winner receives a special gift. Yes, and unfortunately, we've won so much this year, and there's been so many Woodies. Our Woody treasure chest is a little barren. A.K.A. we ran out of stuff to give you. Yeah. Unfortunately, we are bone dry. But we're about to give you a better gift, though. We are. No silly debit cards. Nope. No silly gift certificates. No, nothing to Best Buy, Target, Olive Garden. You're just going to tell us what you want. We're just going to get it for you. Yeah. Make it simple. Yeah. Memphis is known for its musical roots. Today, for keys to the game, special keys with Jed. Well, we're here in Memphis to watch Tar Heels play. And while you're here, I've got a few things that you definitely need to check out. Number one, visit the Stack Studio Museum, also known as Soulsville, USA. You can learn about the likes of Ray Charles and Otis Redding. Number two, have some Memphis-style barbecue ribs at Rendezvous. Number three, take a stroll down Bill Street. Number four, spit in the Mississippi River. And number five, most importantly, cheer on those Tar Heels to another victory as we move to the final four. Go Heels. Heading to the land of bourbon and Q. Mm. Memphis, Tennessee for the Sweet 16. 10 o'clock on Friday. A little late, I will be several bourbons deep. Yes, as many of you will. I'm sure that will add a little... Zest and fire to the cheering. I'm already, yeah, I'm fired up already. And in Greensboro, we want to mention that we saw a first. A Tyler Hansbro. By Carolina's front line player. Uh oh. Hansbro. Four. Mm -hmm. Not every day you get to see one of those. Nope, lucky. I'm sure when we get down to Memphis, things will get back to normal. Per usual. With a lot of Tyler Hansbro. Three.